This is all right. Now we're gonna play clickbait. Get on with it here. All right. All right. Heck of a way to start a rock and roll show. Yeah, that's a little bit of a snappy opening, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm JD Roberts. I'm Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward has a story about former VJ and future Fox News correspondent John Roberts that changes everything. He was a master of television at a very young age. He was the guy who could have done anybody else's job. And if you gave him half a chance, would. Whether it was like running a camera or, you know, doing an edit, like he'd be in the editing suite doing the editing himself. And the editor would be sitting there beside him. And he also effectively trained Erica M. J.D. Roberts back with Erica M., who just joined us and wouldn't come on before because... I had to see you two, and they were well worth waiting for. They were so great. I mean, if you can't pledge money after seeing them, if they haven't wrenched your soul, I don't know what's going to move you now. Uh, Harvey's at Barton Street in Hamilton to challenge all Harvey's across Canada. We know that there's fire departments, there's police stations, everybody's watching TV. And what about you cable companies that are carrying us? Get on it, okay? We don't have enough time to give the address, so why don't we just say that we're going back to Live Aid and we'll be back with the address. Right, we'll be back. What, and really soon, stay tuned. You know, you, it's funny you describe him as buttoned down. Of course, his image at the time, especially when he's because he was on in the late '70s doing uh, new music and whatnot, was yeah. you know kind of a rock and roller. And then I sort of followed his career. And he was on, I think, CTV for a number of years, and then ultimately wound up at Fox. But he he certainly does seem like one of those broadcasters. Like he could leave Fox tomorrow and and go join MSNBC without skipping a beat. You know what I mean? I think, I think you're right. I, I think you're right. I think he keeps it, for the most part, pretty apolitical. 